I promised you guys I would cover this. So I don't have to go at length about this situation because if you watch my streams and you know we covered these two guys, it was epic what happened at the stare down, the weigh-ins, I should say. Slapped the banana straight out of his hand, which to me was just remarkable. You'll do nothing. Yeah, You're here because yeah, of me. Play. So yeah, thank yeah, me. Get on your play. knees and thank play. me. Yeah. Bitch. You're gonna see when he needs them off, bitch. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. Pussy. Thank me. Yeah. I'm trying to build the we'll suspense see. for you guys. So when we go into okay. this fight, we have a little bit of a vested interest. This ring is crazy, by the way, guys. It's a triangle. So easy to corner a man. Everything's a corner. All right, so we have this fight coming up. They say, oh man, you're fighting in a phone booth. But literally, though, we want to know who's gonna win in this matchup. Who do we have? Jetter Hawkins, right? I don't think you guys are gonna know who the f they are. So I'm gonna go slap her or the banana man. Banana man is the guy holding the banana when he got slapped. Hey. Oh, he looks confident. Who has the mental edge, though? That's my question, because, you know, you got to be a little bit furious that you got slapped. Hawkins get introduced and, 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 and jump up and down. And just has had his eyes on him the whole time, and here we go. In and out movement from uh, Hawkins. Black and yellow for Charlotte, North Carolina's Ryan Jett. Goalie, that's your one, right? Jett is the guy with the yellow, as said, you know, by the commentators. And he's the one that slapped Hawkins on the left. Bare knuckle is such a crazy sport where the risk is so high. There's such a high risk. Any mistake, right? cost you your whole eyeball you make a slip to the left where you should have went to the right and you lose your ability to see so will cub utilize his wrestling or will jet utilize uh on the right pa patient right real patient oh nice hook too hawkins throws big hawkins is looking to prove a point here he's being really aggressive I actually didn't i didn't know what to expect but hawkins definitely fighting with a little bit of emotion so this organization i'm assuming is maybe like a feeder league for the other bare knuckle organization he's catching them with hard shots he rocked them he rocked them he rocked them in that short exchange with a short uppercut we got paulie malinaji on commentator booth with uh goldie he's rocking him no, Jet's taking a, a lick in here. There's so much violence in such a short range there. You can't get touched. Jet's getting rocked every two seconds. Yeah, both guys have a good sense of oh, man. Oh, man. That was right on the beak. And he goes to the body. This is a mismatch, and now we're seeing it. Anything can happen in a bare knuckle fight, but this looks to be a mismatch. He's getting bullied. And you can see the swag of Hawkins on the right, just completely cocksure of himself that he got his man. You know that moment in a fight where you just go, yep, got him, checkmate. It's a feeling. He feels that standing across from Jet now. Jet knows he's in there with the better fighter. Lost his mouthpiece, but he lost his heart too. He's starting to fade. Look at him smiling at him. Ever slap me, dog. This, this is retribution for that banana, man. Expression on his face as of when the fight started or even before the fight. Right. <laughs> Doesn't matter if the fight's actually going on. He still has the same look on his face. Talk about poker face. Switching stances. Ten seconds. Respect the bell. Hawkins has landed some power this round. Uh-oh. Backing into a corner. Being bullied, but there's not much he can do. He's hurt. Oh, got, got off a few shots at the end, but Hawkins just blows it off. Hell of a round. I mean, there's no reason to go over who won that. We know that Hawkins definitely dominated that round. No doubt about it. Now going into the second, Jet better get his sh together. Uh, by the way, I honestly don't know who won this fight. I saw a screen grab online, but I don't know who won it. Cub in the black trunks, black and yellow for Ryan Jet. Southpaw stance for Cub Hawkins. It's an interesting approach you have to take for these fights because you don't really have the sort of space you need to be dynamic in your footwork. Whoa, that was a clean right hand acknowledgement from Hawkins, but he gets rocked right away. That was a nice shot by Jet, man. Oh, he's landing some shots. This is way more competitive in the second round. Wow. Wow, he rocks Hawkins. We're gonna put the volume up on him. Hawkins got rocked for a second, chat. Now he's getting confident, Jet. He's getting confidence. Looking to utilize a long jab. Cub switches back to Southpaw. Wow. And Jet goes into the Southpaw stance himself, Goldie. Yep. Well, for a second anyway. <laughs> back to the right hand stance. I think it was Malinaji who said both guys are counter punchers. So they're trying to draw out a reaction so they can counter. But neither guy is really giving 
much. They're both being very stingy with their reads, and, the speed and they just let it go when they get in chest to chest. That's their moment to let it to let it actually hang out. Nice lead uppercut to a right hand. That's what I was gonna say. When when you got two counter punches. Oh, pushes the face. Chill with that. I don't think that's allowed. I don't know the rules, but yeah, you can't be doing that. You can't be pushing the guy's face like that. Oh, Hawkins did something wrong, and Jet was just res responding in kind. I missed that. You are warned. Yeah, warning for both guys. Yeah. I feel like here, when they're both going to come out now, they're going to both... Where did this fight happen? What do you think? Look at his chest. Florida. Florida is the unofficial home of bare knuckle boxing. They don't give a f*** in Florida. You could fight man versus alligator. It doesn't matter. Florida is loose when it comes to their commission. But we love it. Anything can happen in Florida. What's the shape of the ring? Triangle. What? <laughs> What? What? You want the ring to be triangle? Yeah, and small too. Opportunity. See, there's an attempt to at faint yep. there by Hawkins. From what I saw, I thought this was going to be a one-sided beating, but I was completely wrong. Because in my opinion, Jet's doing a pretty good job. Was looking to set up the uppercut, good footwork and avoidance by. Out of range on the hook, though. Both men with a ton. Oh, double jab, but Hawkins goes back to the ropes. Hawkins to the ropes. Wow. F***ing crazy fight. He's busted up with no jet. Split right above the eye, I believe. Maybe in the center of his eyes. Blood, though. Another double jab. The bigger reaction's coming from Hawkins, though, as they get hit. The issue with Jet, though, is he's wearing it worse. I think his eyes Bob Hawkins letting his hands go against the ropes. He's getting busy with the hands. Completely rearranging Jet's face. Eye is where the mouth is. It's all over. But he's still fighting. Looks like a Picasso. Look at that face. But all hard. He's standing there confidently. Yeah. Now, I don't know if the nose is broken out, but he looks... He looks like he's taking it. Look at that right hand. Saw that? All right, third round. Let's get into it. Who do we got? Who do we got? Slapper on the left or the banana man on the right? Hawkins or Jet? Expression. I thought maybe he had busted his nose, but oh no, there's there's actually it's a five rounder, short rounds, but it's a five rounder. That's going to be tough for Jet to get through another three rounds with the right eye looking the way it does. I mean, it's completely swollen. Cobb, very intelligent right now, not rushing in where Ryan Jet can get one away. It's got to be tough. Wow. Wow, he's getting aggressive, man. He's going for the knockout. It's hard to comment accurately on bare knuckle boxing. You could talk about technique, but it's hard if you haven't been in there bare knuckle because, you know, we've all been in street fights, but you've never fought professionally against a guy who kind of knows how to swing his hands under these circumstances. Just your, your behaviors change, right? One mistake really destroys your face. Yeah, both guys have good defense when they get trapped on the yes. and the try down corner. Good, oh, good exchange there from both guys. And the athleticism of both men is on display as well. Yep. The explosiveness, the power, the strength, and the break by Wayne Spinoza. Hawkins is tired in the corner. He wasn't initially. He was kind of staring Jet down, giving him the whole gamesmanship. Like, you know, listen, you don't got me beat. You slap me, I'm going to get you back. But it looks like Jet's starting to wear on him a little bit. And there's a different urgency from Jet because he knows that that fight's going to get stopped if he doesn't get Hawkins out of there. With an eye like that, the doctor's got to be... It is Florida, though, so what am I saying? It is Florida. If he dies, he dies in Florida. 50 seconds on the round. The same rules apply, obviously, as boxing, right? Draw out reactions. Corner your man use your jab same rules repercussions completely different though oh that was another like forearm shiver. that was a right hand to the chin he's landing shots on jet very strategic very sugar ray leonard like to let it all go in the last few seconds of the round to hopefully steal it good strategy both of these guys don't have a ton of fights either keep that in mind as you watch this i'm a big fan of game bread mma i know some of you guys don't like it i love it it's very fun i remember watching mma when i was a kid when it was called nhb and it scared the shit out of me it was one of the few sports i watched and i was like no chance of me doing that something about the gloves changed my feel on it but bare knuckle mma is absolutely ruthless but i actually kind of feel and maybe I'm wrong on this, but I kind of feel like bare knuckle boxing, there's even more damage done. Being that you can't close distance and wrestle and buy time. You know, they might have to stop this because his eye looks like a vagina. Her fingers. That is a lot, not only a lot of swelling, but the, the She's like, are you close to death? He's like, no, nah, I don't think so. So right, you're fine. We're going to keep it going. Look at them going at it. Quick hands against the ropes thrown by both men. And blood just pouring out of the nose. It's been a competitive fight. If we're not talking about superficial damage, Jet is doing well. 
Oh, nice splits on the right hand. That was clean. Get himself out of the corner. See, those are great feints, right? If Jack can just keep doing that. Strong jab on the inside from Hawkins as he closed the gap. Oh, short shots inside. Pretty sure those hand wraps weren't red when they started this, or am I bugging? Nobody survived round one. Oh, nice jab. You got to kill Jed. See what I'm saying? He has such a good right hand. He pauses and just gets you to sort of make that unspoken agreement that we're going to stand still. And he blitzes the right hand. He lands it every time. And again, a typical tool you'll see when an orthodox guy goes against a southpaw. The right hand lead. And you have to be fast to pull it off. You have to go have good timing. He has really good timing and he's fast. They're both trying to rest. Punch him in the vagina. His right eye. Hilarious. Look at the cameraman with a subtle smile. He's like just doing his day job. These guys are dying. Bleeding to death. Face falling off his body. Cameraman's just casual with it. What a strange world we live in. Dude, this is a, the moment where you maybe stop the fight. You might want to stop it at any moment, right? Because you got a guy that's on his heels against the ropes, taking an absolute pummeling. They're still going at it. Paid, bitch. What a round, Jet. Having that Jake LaMotta moment. You never got me down, Ray. You never got me down. But he should have went down, maybe. Because he took an incredible amount of damage. If you're a good corner man and you love your fighter and you want to see them do well, you stop the fight. You don't let your guy go out there with fucking labia on his face. You don't do that. You don't let your fighter go out there that impaired. You know the referee's not going to protect him. Come on. He can't sit down in the corner. They got to stop this, chat. They got to stop. There's no way they're going to let him go back out there. The ropes are blood. This is a show. I don't know if he can see at this point. I really don't know. I, I, I don't know if he can see. Why are we doing field tests on this guy? Vagina on his eye. Slashed in multiple places. Red ropes. He's falling out of the chair. Are you all right? Let's do a fucking sobriety test. They're going to have him walk a straight line now. They're giving him the John Jones treatment. He's arguing. She's, she's a grandma. She should be more empathic than this. But it's, it's Florida. They're bringing in. A, the ref's going to say, let me take a closer look at this. Do they have a doctor? I mean, apparently she's a doctor. I'm not sure, man. Bro, they're letting the fight go. Holy moly, chat. They're going to let this guy die on the vine. Whatever happens, happens. If he dies, he dies. All over a banana. We got a guy losing his face. This is absolutely insane. This fight can't go longer than a minute, right? Like you said, Paulie, he's not going to stop. It stops. All right, the lady stops it. Okay. Jet, you did very well. You did very well. Let's give him a round of applause, SG. He did very good. Not a mark on his face, but I thought he fought his balls off. His corner man with the Rocky Balboa t-shirt. Very applicable and, and very appropriate for the way that Jet fights. The guy's an absolute warrior. What a fucking fight.